that way. Hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm Rick, and we got my co-host Zany right here, who's getting rowdy with it. Uh, we got special super guest star Rubric in the house, and first time ever on the show. Big fans, Port City Bricks, the Dis the Disney crew. <laughs> We were hoping, really, really hoping to catch Alan tonight, but it is also great to have Andrea here. <laughs> oh, it's just so creepy. <laughs> That's a good start. That's not going to start to somebody. somebody. It's like, hey, come on. Oh, we were hoping to have your your fake alter ego, but I guess it's okay that we have you instead. I guess so. Uh, it's cool. Well, Big B helped create that character, so I know he's kind of partial to him. Yeah, I, I, I miss it. It's still very I, it. I even got his sig pig in here still from the trade. <laughs> Do you still have the Chinese box? No, no. <laughs> I figured that was an appropriate introduction. <laughs> that seemed to be where the character was going during that show. <laughs> so, in the chat, we have Josh H. Link's Lego Brick Blades, Brick Dudes, uh, Ralph DeBrule, Mr. Bones Bricks, Haley Bricks, Burning Bricks, Rubrics. Bones bricks. Ken's bricks. Everyone's bricks are in the chat. Brick to brick to brick. What is the what was the word for the night? Cupcake? Cupcakes. Cupcakes. Small cakes. Yeah, so guys drop me a DM and I'll mail you I have to mail them to you because they, they're like unique coupons. But I'll um I'll mail you a small stack of them. I love small cakes. They're I can't help with the really distance. Getting to them, but yeah, that's the only problem because for us, the closest one is up towards your way or. Sometimes we pass it on our way to Florida. So we get Florida. Florida. <laughs> Bricks for Chris wanted to know if you guys have finally finished Port City. I know you've been working diligently at it for the past two weeks to finalize it. Nope. One more week. One more week. One more week and you'll be doing your very first city tour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were we were told we got a new crick, uh, a new what was it? I don't know what you're talking it's about. It's no longer we have to do a city tour. We just got to do a layout tour. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh layout. <laughs> I was I thought you were gonna say you were gonna announce your new sponsorship. No. <laughs> Not yet. Well, we did have a sponsor there for about a whole thirty seconds, but. That didn't, that didn't come oh, through. Oh, that's right. It fell through the floor. I forgot about that. That was a quick lift sponsor. We do have a second sponsorship out there, and it's still there. It, he's still thinking about it. Potential. Oh, nice. So, you, so someone has already one-upped. Nice. Outstanding. Yep. Someone had to go and one-up Big B. Yep. But there was a stipulation. There was a certain mark that had to be built. So... We're in discussions now. Ah, oh, jeez, how bad is it now? <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody make a, is somebody talking about my alfalfa? I told y'all, B.O.T. asked for it, I gave it. B.O.T. asks and he does receive. It's weird, man. <laughs> that man just makes requests randomly and people do them. <laughs> Sure, Haley, I'm going to forward you this email because why not? Let's just have everyone in here tonight. Let's have a little Friday night stream. Uh -oh. Are we sure it's Haley? Because Burkinick did kill oh, I don't Haley. know. I only have Haley's he email have, address. He could have left the internet open because he did say earlier that he doesn't know how to internet. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I only have Haley's email address, not his. So she's getting it. <laughs> Oops, that was on a moderator for some reason. It's probably, you know what? It is probably with how excited that the response was. It's probably Vercanic because Haley has been grumpy and absolutely not that, that happy in her response lately. 
So I'm trying to figure out where this echo is coming from. Don't. Coming from us? I'm on headphones, so no, it's not me. I don't know. Oh, she just talking it out. Somebody called it. <clears throat> I called it, thank you. Nope, we've only got one window open. No worries, no worries. Is it coming from us? No worries, no worries. She has decided she doesn't like you people for this evening. Oh, it was you. I knew it. It was uh, you. Haley would never get that excited. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Together we were one whole person. <laughs> the same. Cupcake. <sighs> What's everyone? Yeah, that's definitely not Haley. Yeah, it's not Haley. <laughs> So is the cupcake conversation out? Is like is that a public conversation now, or is that still a private conversation? And is it weird that you already guys already had a code word for what cupcake was? Well, I actually, we just took what Zany said and just made that work. Okay. It wasn't a pre-existing code word. No, it wasn't. But we're trying to think of a good one, and that one just yeah, why not? Everybody loves cupcake. <laughs> True. Everyone does like cupcakes. <laughs> okay, so apparently Haley has decided I am the adult person that has to be live, and she's going to be the the chat person. She's going to be <laughs> <laughs> nice. Going nice. to here in text format. Aw, Haley, walk in from the other room. It's okay. <laughs> it's very tea fall efficient of you to be chatting from the other room. Or even, did we just see your arm right there? No. Uh. <laughs> did Haley join the nudist colony? Or? I don't know. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> but, uh, what? <laughs> so Haley's either drunk. <laughs> that might be what it is. <laughs> or, yeah, I think, I think that might be what it is. Cupcake. Uh, uh, cupcake, cupcake. <laughs> Haley, cupcake. <laughs> is that we the need safe to at least see an elbow, Haley. No, we don't have safe words here. <laughs> was it safe word? We were coming back from cupcake. Was a, cupcake seemed to be more of a permission-based word. Uh, cupcakes are good tonight. <laughs> well, she has spoken. That is a good point, Bubba. Bubba would like to point out that he has not seen anyone else on the panel cupcake in a few minutes. <laughs> As much as you keep saying it, you don't act yeah. upon it. I'm actually using up the last my Alaskan brewery also for this. I don't know where I'd have more beer. I'm thinking if I have some hidden somewhere. I threw out all the beer from the house when Becky got pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, just go ahead and go to the hard stuff. Yep, I'll be right yeah, back. That's what it's going to have Okay, so Big B is abandoning the show halfway through, as always. We're 10 minutes in. He lasted longer than last week. I think last week he abandoned it about two seconds in with that stupid avatar thing. Wait, Big B was here last week? I remember seeing a, a demon here. Yeah, Sorry. that's... Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right, Big Z. So, Haley, are you going to scoot into frame, or are you just really out of frame the whole show and playing a game? I think at this point she's now out of frame. I okay. think that's the best way to go. <laughs> Letting the man take over the computer. Yeah. I can't control much, but she's going to let me control this. <laughs> I said, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get some rum. Nah, I'm abandoning the show like usual because I haven't abandoned shows since that other show I used to do. I used All to right. just get up and leave that show halfway through. I'm here yeah. now. I had to get my picture in. Uh, I was a couple minutes late for my deadline, but I am here in sound, mind, and body. Excellent. And the echo All of the three majors. <laughs> Dead All right, what's the topic? 
Zay, I noticed that you put all of your black light bulbs in that you were trying to sell to a tiny little child earlier. What was that? You put all of the black lights in that you're trying to sell to a tiny child. Hey, you know what? You um, black lights are child. great if you actually don't try to make them out of a desk lamp and construction black construction paper. We need a lot of oil and ammonium sulfate, you know, all the regular poisonous stuff. Cellophane could work. As it's long as you had the right tint on it, it would be fine. <laughs> it's just the whole using opaque materials in front of a light and expecting something to come out the other side is the entertaining part. That's what I'm about it. He had to be tra he had to be trolling. He was trolling. He was trolling. He had to be no, trolling. No, he wasn't. You, no. You think so? No, no, no. no. Otherwise, he's a blithering idiot. He had to be trolling. I hope so. Oh. I really do. <laughs> he had to be. He had to be. And I'm not saying this in a bad way. If if oh, he yeah, was, that's, proof. That, that's like the proof that he was trolling you is because he can speak. In coherent sentences, and if he couldn't, he wouldn't know all of those things, like putting loose light fabric around a heat source. Will he doesn't understand water. basic math, though. He does understand gasoline and flammables. He does. He doesn't understand basic math. I'm saying he's like blatantly said math is stupid in, <laughs> in response to it before. Yeah, but he knows basic, like, it could happen in movie stuff. And if it happens in movies, it's real, so... I will give him one thing. Today, whoever let him in the stream, gotta be a good I don't know who, but he did know that he needed to keep himself on mute and not speak out of, out of line, and he did that very well. So he has learned that over the past year, I can tell. And he did. He learned that right before you, you blocked him again. <laughs> Because that text does pop up, where, or we all can see it. Uh, uh -huh. Yep. And then it asked me if I wanted to, and I felt obliged because it looked like the easy way to get out of the pop-up. <laughs> I, um, I was nexting along. Uh -huh. I mean, it's just uh, one of his 300 whatever he was, Whatever he was trying to do worked, because... This is the third stream where we've been talking about him. Yes, exactly. I apologize for bringing it up. Yeah, I don't know. No, Rue is good at calling, calling it. Thank you, brother. Thank you. By the way, I, Rue, I love, I love how you bring things up. You're so subtle and quiet. You're just like, I just raped a cat this evening. <laughs> oh, you weren't supposed so to know calm about that. Everything. It was so Why do we have a hat? Do we have pigtails? No, I washed my hair, so we're all wet right now. So. <laughs> okay. You wanted to go for that look, huh? It's really pretty hair. Well, I try. Why is it always, is it always people without hair make fun of people as so much as those of us with hair? I did switch out your hair in, in the Lego City. Did you? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I did. I, I went for a more stylized approach. Own it. Own it. I gave your photo a heart. I heart it. <laughs> I also want to let you know I touch your children, and I'm rubric. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is where we're gonna go. This is what. This is why we avoided multiple guests. Because it I'm goes that way that so easily. <laughs> so easily, it puts right off. You don't even need a curve to tilt off the track. <laughs> Put these guys yeah, together first. with a cupcake. He's so polite, but also rude at the same time. <laughs> I can see the rumors now. <laughs> They're more quiet. Ever it. since we went into James's stream, it's been a train wreck ever since. So why would this yeah. stream be any different? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> MC Hammer is not above uh, that. We are not above that. Back on the rails, though. Bones was calling it. Back on. <laughs> we killed the child death conversation. <laughs> we killed the how dumb is this kid conversation. So, back up and righteous. We might even discuss Lego. Wait, I think Brick or Treat has been drinking as well. <laughs> Squeal League. 
He's Wait, hold on. his inner deliverance is going right now. If you read right above, <laughs> he is channeling deliverance. I believe he wants someone to say "squeal like a pig." <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So, so at this point, you see, this is why it. I had the face rig stuff. I was gonna go quickly switch over to the face rig with some face and just go and then come back. <laughs> hey, it's Haley. She's poking out from the corner. Oh, uh, Haley's, Haley's poking. She's Haley's not that dead. Look, you can see her arm. We could see her why face. Is, why ago. is that reminiscent of Toy Story right there? And it's, 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 What's it's, your arm? Did you pull it off? arm has been removed at the socket. <laughs> There's no blood. It's easily handled with freezing and th quick freezing and thawing of the meat. Liquid nitrogen. Yeah, you guys know yeah, what but I'm But then you'd lose the mobility of it. It would just shatter. Get rid of women, one on one. Freezing and thawing of the meat. Here he comes with his quiet ideas. Because <laughs> when you lop it off, it, when you lop it off at the socket, at that point, it's meat. It's it's you know you're using it for something else. Did that chair move by itself? Yes, it moves. Yes. <laughs> That's right, Mr. Bones. We haven't seen them actually talk about Lego in a long time on this show. It's a couple cool fucking shows. <laughs> I have some Lego behind me. This has really turned into the Your Lego Friends Get Hammered show. <laughs> we call it Cupcake? Do you know what Cupcake is? <laughs> no, did you find any cupcake. Pepsi 1893 there, Andrea? They didn't have no, any. They didn't have any. They didn't have any where I went either. No, we went and looked because our pizza never showed up, so we ended up having to go get Taco Bell. <laughs> what do they have at Taco, Taco Bell that you guys could eat? Black bean burritos and nachos and cheese. Yep. Oh, okay. Have you tried a beef and potato burrito? <laughs> oh, God, they're good. Cheesy they beef so good. Yeah. They're good, good for good. breakfast, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I swear, I think there's meat in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure there is. Yeah. Well, I just, I, if you guys hadn't had one, I wanted to make sure you knew. Like, I don't like setting up people to donate meat for like a surprise meat. On no, a stick but the or next time, the next time you go to Taco Bell, you need to get their quesarito and substitute the meat for beans. It is on point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we might have to try that, cause we actually go to Taco Bell a pretty good bit. I'm, I'm calling this as a, as a cheater vegetarian thing because I, if, as a vegetarian, if I was, if I was, which I never really, um, I would not think that the beans from Taco Bell were righteously vegetarian. I would think that they don't care as much about using this utensil for that and not having crossover, or the oils and all that stuff. Like well, Technically, they legally do they're supposed to. Legally. Yeah, 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 yeah. But come on, it's, Taco right. Bell, man. If you went to the so legally so supposed to employ people that live here. If you go to Taco Bell, we go to. They probably don't know the difference between a fork and a spoon. Yeah, I'm just saying. Like, I, I, I wouldn't endorse that, if, especially if, if you were righteous about it. That's what yeah. I mean. Like more the vegan side than the, the vegetarian side. <laughs> yeah. I do the barbecues at work. And we have a lot of vegetarians. I make sure that you know we always have one entire grill section, and never used for anything but the veggie burgers and specials and all that stuff. Yep. I I have actually eaten vegetarian for about it was about three or four months. I don't, I don't know exactly how long, and it it's really good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. it oh no, no no no! I'm not saying there is. I just I was brought up on. I thought that a potato was a vegetable up until I went to college. <laughs> We're crazy fucking Irish, man. Don't feel bad. It but technically is. is. Yeah, it technically is, sure. Yeah. If you do not replace your proteins, it is. you can feel it. The first two months, we were trying to figure some way out of it fucking just because we weren't feeling good, and it was the proteins. Yeah. You, like, you are supposed to eat meat as a person. You need that that protein, but 
you cannot eat solely vegetarian and not try and replace the protein. There are a lot so of people that have protein. So, Boys works at Taco Bell one day a week, and he says that calling the meat meat is generous. <laughs> I agree. I, 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 I probably, I, I'm assuming that I did because I had Taco Bell. I think if you look um, in the definition of meat at Taco Bell, in really, really front, fine print, after meat it says like substance, so it's meat like substance, and it's just really, really Pink small in brackets. Pink ooze, coagulated pink ooze that ooze that's then shredded. Oh. <laughs> what were you saying, Andrea? <laughs> I was just saying there are a lot of um, vegetables and you know nuts, grains, lots of things that have protein in them. Oh, yeah. they, there are, but they don't contain near as much. Well, no, but humans don't need as much protein as you may think. Yeah. Plus, we can get it from lots of other sources. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm waiting well, for the follow-up. Let's follow talk up. about the benefits of soy while we're here, could we please? Sure. Let's do it. Oh, so Brick Blaze, who is an employee of Taco Bell, says it's Mexican spiced cat food. <laughs> <laughs> but he eats a lot of food. We get with, cheese, with cheese. You gotta add that. <laughs> cheese has protein. Yeah. There's a lot of things that have protein that are not meat based. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Not hard to get protein from other sources than that. We, um, we went we went hardcore vegan for a year. Oh my! Yeah. Wow. Yeah, hardcore vegan, and I was uh, I was training for a marathon, uh, so I was running probably average 40, 45 miles a week, and uh, feeding a clean vegan diet. Oh my God! Those of you that are that are not familiar with the the specificities associated between vegan and vegetarian, vegan is is no animal products whatsoever. So it's not just no meat, but it's no cheese, no milk, and a hardcore vegan doesn't even do honey because technically you're stealing from the bees. Um, you know, what if what if the what about what if you start believing that like vegetables are sentient? What do you eat? Yeah, man, then. Isn't that like a really fine line though? Like I've always wondered that. Yeah. Like if, if, really you yogurt, <laughs> if you well, can't eat yogurt because of the like the the microbes that are in there, who's to say that there's not said microbes in the roots of a radish, and when you pull a radish, you're slaughtering a nation. Actually, I I know vegans who don't eat root plants, or even even past the root plants. Like that was just an example. Corn. Who's not to say that like I was not like this giant colony of the <laughs> corn? I like to watch corn. <laughs> I, I'm just I'm not I'm playing devil's advocate some, but like where's the where's the line drawn as far as like you won't eat this because it's alive because plants are obviously alive. Honestly, mm. vegan vegan is very very strict and it's mm. it's a lot of effort to go into sticking to it. It's actually very picky. It's very hard to do. And, and I'm not making as much fun of it as, as I sound to be. There's actually a lot of interest in it. I, I, I don't know I, if my wife would know if I did that. But it, it's difficult. I could never do it. I mean, talking about things you can and cannot do, you actually have to look into the things that you should or should not eat. It's it kind of becomes ridiculous at one point. Yeah, you can never do that. You don't know what you're eating. Or... Yeah, only <laughs> if you're eating lots of processed things anyway, can you look at the box of what you're eating if your meat and tell what's in it? You don't know. I don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't know. You could be eating whatever. You know, I, mean, I don't know. I, I think... Yeah, like, I would, a vegan, if, would a vegan die of dehydration because in the desert they wouldn't drink their own pee because it came from animals? You know, that's not a thing. That they absolutely will. Yeah. Like, don't ask me how I know this, but I've had that <laughs> philosophical conversation with people. Okay, don't ask me how. How the fuck do you know that? Well, I, I, <laughs> I rock climb, know. and I go, and there's a lot of dirtbaggers that rock climb that are also vegans and, 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 and in the situations. 
I think that you shouldn't drink your own pee, but you can drink someone else's pee. No, no, no. You can definitely only drink, drink your own, own pee unless you're about to die. Don't share your pee. It's like <laughs> California, to where everyone nope, shares their pee. You're in the streams. You can only drink your own pee, and there's only a certain number of times you can drink it. Yeah, yeah, because it's it is it is pure waste. It is everything that your body said that it did not want. It, but it's not pure waste. Not pure. There's a lot of water in there which you can no, reabsorb. No, There's a lot of waste. All waste. And your body will. Your body also does have a system where if you take in a product and it's holding a product because it's still processing it, it'll drop the existing product out to hold the new product because it holds more nutrients. We're so seriously it's talking about drinking our own pee in the science behind yeah, it. Yeah, we're talking about would vegans drink their own pee. For <laughs> you you all are totally missing, missing the point. I'm just trying to convince someone that we should drink each other's urine and you <laughs> totally fucked it up for me. Oh, no, no, that, that we, you, you're setting up people to die at that point. Even yeah, Bones yeah. is back on me. You can only drink it. <laughs> oh, no, no, yeah. Watch this. Mm. You know what's funny to me is about people, like, say we're vegetarian. I don't bring it up, but other people do. And then everybody else has to defend themselves on why they want to eat meat. Like, I haven't said anything about people be eating anything or whatever. And, you know, people in the comments are like, oh, well, I, I mean. Oh, no, we're doing mass yeah. generalization comments. Mass generalization. You are, you are in this category because <laughs> of your geographic location, your birthplace, your supposed unknown ideology or anything like that. <laughs> Hey, I don't don't know. This, is here. Map, I don't this is just massive <laughs> mapping of opinion. Like, boom, you live there, you're all like that. That's I know, right. it is. It's funny. <laughs> How's Alan been doing since HB2 passed? <laughs> <laughs> See, I thought you guys were going to get in on the conversation. I thought at least Zany was going to get in on the conversation when you guys were talking about dogs, when you said that your former vet was a state senator. I thought for that, like right at that instant, I thought Zany was going to kick in with the brittle brabble, dribble frobble. You know, and, <laughs> like go on, a, go, on in, go on a very righteous and well-deserved rant. You know? No, I would... Because I know that you hate like that he was a dick. Dog. That's all. Yeah, yeah. What they're saying, but... Yeah. Yes, I was. I've met yes. plenty of politicians who are dicks, and I've met plenty that weren't. That has nothing to do I'm with just, it. I'm just saying he's a double dick because yeah, uh, he was a dick about the dog, and he was a dick about the, uh, the, the, the whatever. <laughs> I'm trying to get off fucking nutrition, man. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Quit fighting the winds of change. Oh, I feel it. <laughs> I feel it, man. Let the inner punk go a little bit. <laughs> You're right. I'm so sorry, Master B. <laughs> regardless, regardless of your dietary um, sways, I still think that that the um, that the burrito. What is it? The <laughs> back to Taco Bell. Oh, back to Taco it's, Bell. it's good. It is good. Back <laughs> to Taco Bell. About half the line is in. Uh, that <laughs> yeah. So, so there I was. I was sitting in the drive-thru in the quesarito, and if you substitute the meat for beans, it is fucking on point. So that is that is that is my meal. Um, suggestion for this evening. Take it and do with it what you will. I'll be honest, and maybe I'm just snobby or whatever. I don't eat Taco Bell. Oh no, it's, it's, so either, I used, it's either, when I was a kid and, or a teenager. You know, I I, I eat plenty of Taco Bell and everything, but I just have zero desire to eat Taco Bell. No, I don't like really processed, food shredded, or shitty Taco Bell. It's it's one or the other. Like it's it's a good burger or it's fucking McDonald's. I love Taco No, burgers are also, I don't eat hamburgers usually, too. I just, I'm not a big fan of, like, he overly processed food. I, uh, I actually bought my own meat grinder to attach to our uh, mixer so I could grind our own meat around Thanksgiving. I could just connect the turkeys and uh, grind the meat down uh, myself, make our own uh, turkey burger meat. Grind our own meat. Mmm. Mm. Meat. Mm. What about bricks? Tasty, tasty meat. 
Former living in the mm, Tasty good. <laughs> num, num, num. Rick Blaze had a quesarito today while he was probably working at Taco Bell. <laughs> he said they're glorious. They Ralph are. DeBrule would like to remind everyone that in the future, all places are Taco Bell. <laughs> it's pretty much octane. That was a demolition man and not an idiocracy reference for those who might have been thinking, not remembering correctly. In oh, Bricks, for Chris, Bricks, Bricks for Chris did pop in and he said, what the hell is going on here? Bricks for Chris is in the room and express his own opinion. Hey, Jamie, hole in the wall Jamie Mexican restaurant. Bricks for Chris would like to be a guest on the show. Wait, what? That was a cue, because ain't too many people were talking. I don't think. Yeah, you need to not. Yeah. Go I ahead. Was saying that, uh, Zaney was saying earlier that he thinks uh, Bricks for Chris would like to be a guest on the show. No, I wasn't saying I think he would like to. I'm saying eventually we'll probably be able to convince him to. Uh, There's a difference a, between those two things. You're right. You're right. It's, it is more of a convincing game to get people on here. Like, well, no, for Bricks for Chris to get him onto any stream, it's a convincing game. Oh, yeah. he, typically, it's not his favorite thing to do. <laughs> so it's nothing to do with the stream even. It's just... He used to do it a lot. Yeah, I don't think he's really into it too much anymore. Understandable, too. Yeah, I doubt Bricks for Chris really likes watching YouTube or being on it. He only does it when he likes to. Mm -hmm. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm seriously giving him a shout out. I'm telling him to get the hell on. Okay. You have to be nice. No, I'm not going to be nice to him. He needs to get on. How would he proceed? <laughs> Haley, can you please speak up so we can all listen yeah, in on the Or at least project you your voice towards the camera. Oh. <laughs> 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 I will tell you guys what we have been sorting she has been sorting all day and I have been roped into it and I don't like that well it didn't look like that earlier because it actually was her sorting and you were in the other room I know yeah well and then I came in and did it and I did it for like two hours and I didn't like it I'm so proud of him <laughs> but I do not like sorting do you want to go Yes. You have to sort. Yeah, I know. Okay. It's bad. <laughs> Again, we can see who wears the pants in that relationship. He finally sold it. Good. <laughs> uh oh. I think they heard something. Burker Treats would like to take this stream and shovel it. <laughs> And Mr. Bones Bricks would like to tell everyone milk code code four. <laughs> milk code four. Mark Cotter likes to try to only do things he likes, but he does sort. And Bones oh, Bricks that? says, "No." Voice. <laughs> That's, no, that's New York. Have an I after the O if he yeah. was. He's speaking in New York. No, thinking New York, it would be like I after O. Except for I. <laughs> Thank you for Kenny. <laughs> yeah. So this evening, now. this evening, um, rubrics uh, portion of this stream is. <laughs> oh, Southern <laughs> Tears. Southern I, Tier. I've, I've had that many times. The two times yeah. I've viewed from Southern Tier, it's always on yeah. tap at the crappy bars around here. Yeah. <laughs> it's a double beers, IPA. Texas? No, it's a good beer. It's just on tap at like the bars that don't have good selections. For whatever reason, they have that on tap at all of them. It's like the IPA that they have on tap. The one that they have at you know bars that don't have craft beer, usually. <laughs> Yeah, Texas has horrible craft beer selections. At bars, I mean, if you want it on tap, it's going to be like Coors Light, Bud Light, Budweiser. That's about it. If you're lucky, yeah, you don't get Yingling back there either. What's that, Zany? They don't distribute Yingling in Texas, right? What's that? 
Do they distribute Yingling in Texas? The beer? <laughs> yeah. No, I know. Actually, never heard of that. Yeah, me, me neither. Before I moved out here, it's not a thing that's in California at all. They don't have distribute something about. They just don't distribute to the West Coast. I do know in Texas you can't sell what you make. Like Tesla can't sell cars in Texas because they make it. In Texas. Correct. That's a that's a that's an amazingly that that law makes no fucking sense. That's really stupid. I doubt that's actually the case too, because that, no, it is. That's, hey. that's beyond that's counterproductive. It no, might Dell be like, can't, because they're the manufacturer, they cannot sell the car in Texas. That's just the cars, though, right? You're not talking about other things. That's just cars. That's um, uh, funky like, car dealership laws with the friend, the whole. It's not specific to car dealerships. It is any manufacturer cannot sell its own product in Texas. They have to go through a dealer. You guys process oh, you like ninety nine percent of the beef you. in the nation. How do they do they like ship the beef out of the state, process it, and ship it back in? It goes to a third party. Yeah. I I get what you're saying now. It's fucking stupid. It is. It is really pointless. The same way the crab is in Alaska. Yeah. And other things are elsewhere. Okay. Do you know that Yingling is the oldest beer in the, United, in States. the United States? Absolutely. I have toured that brewery and got to the slosh there multiple times. <laughs> I like their free brewery tour. <clears throat> Mr. Bones saying Yingling doesn't even go west of Ohio. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Mr. Bones should get in the room. Boudoir is saying that uh, Pennsylvania can keep it, so he doesn't like the Yingling. What? I, I, I think some of the Yingling is good. I think the regular Yingling is crap, and I no. think the Yingling black and tan is yeah. their good stuff. So yeah. Yingling is the good That's when you can do your right? beer. And so it's, it's a great beer. beer to take on tubing trips down a river. You can like load up a case of Yingling or two of Yingling into a cooler, put it into the tube in between, you know, in the cooler tube between you, and you um, Yingling does not get. You can suck it down all day on a hot day, and you'll never get too drunk off of it. Yeah, I, I didn't like what we had in Philly. I just didn't care for the flavor. Too dark. Yeah, black and black and tan is definitely a lot better than the regular shit. Yeah. Wait, Sean, you were in Philly? Yes. Maybe. You were? <laughs> hey, there's I'm, that there's that couple that was really far away. And oh, they those people. Us. Yeah. They ignored us the whole time. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> they built that building. Remember, it lost. Oh, oh that's, yeah. That's, yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, B for C, Yingling is what you had for the speed build. Yeah. Was it? Yes, oh, yeah, it was. Oh, yeah, they yeah. brought out some cases of it, and I brought like a case up to the to the uh, Saturday stream. The main wait, wait. beer that I drew, actually, that's my bowling beer, too. That Yingling, was... I buy pictures of it. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, Chris, that's what we were just saying. It's not their, not, the regular stuff that we had is definitely not their premier product in my mind. Now, I didn't like it much. Yingling, maybe influence the, next year, and since there's so maybe. many of us, and they're getting it by the case, probably at a big box store, we can say, hey, can you pick up some black and tan instead? No, it's really simple. They're from Pennsylvania. They're in Pennsylvania. They're going to have Yingling. Right. Yingling has Yingling black and tan. It's same nope. manufacturer, I same distiller. They make it. They just got what was cheapest, really. Yeah. I'm sure. But why would you drink Yingling black and tan if that's what you wanted? They, there's there's better alternatives than that. It's well, that's what they bought in bulk. They bought like they bought bulk of Yingling. So I'm making the assumption that they can get the same label and a different product in that label name. I wasn't going and asking for a really expensive beer because I didn't want to make any changes to the cost. If I was going to ask for something, I'd say, can we get an open bar with liquor? Because that's why probably do you what want that? really Why do you liquor? need an open bar with liquor to have fun? Oh, Jesus. It says Is that your yeah. crutch? 
<coughs> we sat on Fat Boys all night, or whatever. Is that what they were called? Yeah, Fat Boys. Fat Boys. <laughs> 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 Oh. Logan <laughs> Patrick is not a big fat head fan either. He'll drink fat heads though. Hey, there's Patrick. He meant fat tire. Mr. Bones Bricks, it went further off track than you know. <laughs> Just guidelines. We just gotta fill up our bladders, and then we can we put on a we show, a and then we're gonna take the stream back so down. What would it take to get start dancing right now? What? You gonna start dancing on stream with your pretty hair? Is it me? No. no, not this guy. No, he's busy being really quiet. He don't want to talk about it. I'm not. Uh, I'm I'm not that easily convinced. Um, it would it would take a, a bit of alcohol and, and, a, and a, a different audience to get me to dance. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not that cheap. <laughs> you can't buy me. That's not what he said. He can't be bought. He said he's just not cheap. Are you drinking out of a uh, Yeti cup? Now I've already finished the beer I got here right here. And I have something else in the Yeti cup. Oh, Lego ice. Yeah, I got Lego ice in there. Well, like it, cool. it looks like Mad Stackers had an open bar at his table at Philly. Yeah, I think he brought that from home, actually. I was definitely planning on pack loading up the car, to be honest. If I was going to Pennsylvania, I was going to bring my own. We didn't drink their beers. We stopped at the special liquor store, state-owned liquor liquor store. Yeah, ABC stores. Yeah, we don't have those here. I know. They don't have them in most sane states. No. That was very odd, actually. It is a really antiquated system that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. From any perspective. And anymore. strangely enough, the liquor was actually cheaper than buying it in a liquor store here. But I'm sure you paid for that in state taxes. Yeah, yeah, probably. It's just, it's an antiquated idea to do that, to have the whole ABC system. Uh, it needs to yeah, go they, they got rid of it about two years ago here in Washington. They yeah, did it in most states. Ago. Yeah. Some There's states are just being have it. They have it for others. They have it for like beer that's over three two has to be sold in liquor stores in Colorado, and that's antiquated because that holds back small businesses from putting out craft beers in Colorado because everybody's now got to be, you know, everybody's got to go to a liquor store to get it instead of being able to pick it up at their Seven Eleven. I'll tell you what's weird is driving from Texas east is we hit Louisiana. And you can buy a pick of whiskey at a gas station. You they can drive you can go to a drive through daiquiri. Yeah, drive through daiquiris and liquor in, in Louisiana, man. That shit's crazy. Like all the way from uh, as long as you don't get the straw as a driver. Yeah, yeah. But there's something wrong with that. You should not be able to buy hard liquor at a gas station. You can you can do that. No, it this is it's a dedicated drive through bar. Yeah, no, it I know. It's halfway between. It's like halfway in between Biloxi and New Orleans, right? Yeah, and you can it's get it. Like you, they'll you, serve you as a driver. They just can't put the straw into the drink for you. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you drive off of the exit and veer slightly to the left to join the drive-through. Exit the drive-through bar and then just drive down the road and get right back on the highway. It's ridiculously you easy and just the drive an idea. Those drive through liquor stores are legal in uh, Phoenix as well. I was driving from Fort Benning to New Orleans for Mardi Gras, and we went through that place. Yeah, it's it stupid. literally encourages drinking and driving, more yeah, or less. Yeah, it was stupid. <laughs> They're fucking legal. Like, couldn't the police officer just pull you over right after you checked out? 
I don't. I don't know. I don't know how the laws work in that. Is that like an open container right there? They don't have open container laws in those counties. So it's like Texas, where you can drive down the road with an open container drinking with no, your kids can. in the back. So you it's can. not a problem having an open container, and as long as you don't have a straw in it, you're not drinking as a driver. That's their justification or whatever. So. Yeah, in Texas, if the passenger, currently, if the passenger has a beer open and you're driving, you can get an open container charge. Okay, so they changed that law from when I was stationed there. Yeah, they changed it. Yeah, when I was there, you literally could be driving down the road with an open container with and kids in the back of the pickup truck, and it'd be total legit. Yeah, that that's so 10 years ago. You're old. I am. See, here in North Carolina, if you want to go to a drive through ABC store, you just get a straw, stick it in the gas tank, and drink it out of the gas tank because it's all moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you go to Johnson County, you can... Uh, yeah. Definitely in Johnson County. <laughs> I was at a at my baby shower that they had for us down here. They um, one of the people there were from Johnston County, and they brought a jar of apple pie moonshine. The stuff is dangerous. You can't even taste the alcohol in it. No, in fact, you'll drink like half of it, and then all of a sudden, five minutes later, you're just like, you yeah, it catches up to you. Though I will give them that it doesn't give you much of a hangover. I, I don't like for it. as much as I drank, I didn't get hangover. It's too strong. I don't like it this strong. You don't taste it? It's too much. It went. That's dangerous. It is. It's the apple pie moonshine. just tastes like apple pie. It's, it's delicious. Or cinnamon apple pie in a drink. Yeah. You don't taste the alcohol at all. We had a guy in college bring stuff. back some 100-proof liquor from his lab. Uh, that they used for testing. It was actually for human consumption, but it was 100% alcohol. No taste, no smell. It, As far as you knew, it was water if it didn't catch on fire. And we poured that in, the, like the, the fruity punch thing for a party one night, and Jesus, it was bad. You almost like have to add something that has an alcohol taste to it so that people don't go overboard. True. Really? You got yeah. those headphones in. Are those Bluetooth headphones? Yeah, they are. Are they good? Oh yeah, yeah. I like them. I bought uh, I bought two sets of headphones. I got and, uh, Bluetooth uh, earbuds. Yeah, we got them. We got them. We got them off of uh, Amazon. So we got these. Um, I I bought two sets, not knowing specifically what type I wanted. So these are just the little the little buds. Um. These are nice and small and um, lighter weight. They're not as comfortable. These are really comfortable. I'm going to pull them out. They look like that. So the controls are on them. The volume is, uh, is on them. Uh, they are much, much more comfortable and they sound better than, than these. I think they were like... Uh, Fifty-five dollars. There are cheaper sets. I think these were only twenty. Twenty-five dollars. So and they um, they all work okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just you know, depending on it's like listening to a nice set of uh, speakers or a cheap set of speakers. Okay. The difference. So the, yeah, the fifty dollars, you can actually hear the difference. Yeah, I did the Bluetooth thing in my car, and it's kind of crappy. But it's a twelve. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah. It wasn't good quality. Like you'd be, you know, the kids would be screaming in the back or something. You couldn't hear over them. Ralph DeBrule likes Mountain Dew, but he says it lowers your sperm count. His wife popped out two kids. Sure hope they're his. <laughs> <laughs> That's Zanny's alter ego. And then he goes on, just kidding, they act just like me, so I know they're mine. <laughs> but they, For those they people who watch it in the post recording and suddenly thought bad of Ralph and now understand there was more to come. Well, at least well, he's got one thing going. When they come out with no hair, you know they're his. Oh, no, the hair is inherited from the mother's side. Yeah. And that kid's going to have 
probably a full head of hair. Do you know if it's a boy or girl? Huh? It's a boy? It's a boy, yeah. Yep, June 13th. It's called a Juneteenth baby, you know. June 13th at 11.30 a.m. And you're going to live stream the whole thing, right? Absolutely not. I'll probably not be posting to YouTube or Instagram for a couple weeks after that. So how many weeks do you? Uh, how many weeks are you going to be out? What do you mean now? Like work? Or? Off work, yeah. How long are you taking off work? I'm taking 10 business days off work initially, and then as needed, I'll take more. I'm not going on like FMLA or anything like that. I they <laughs> That'd be funny. But no, they um, I have plenty of PTO, so. Do you know? Good. Do you know what to expect? What do you mean, what to expect? Well, I've got pictures <laughs> of my wife's. I um, took a thirteen-week okay. Bradley method par Bradley method course, like all natural birth and stuff. Before we found out that that. I've got some enough. nice close-up shots. If you want, I can. Make I have more than I have seen probably through that class and through the Bradley method thing. Oh no! I, there's it's nothing like three D live the real natural thing. birth <gasps> on video. I would still send you. Detail. I would still send you pictures of my ex-wife. I'm just letting you know. I really don't want to see pictures of your ex-wife giving birth. I'm sorry. Are you sure? He's in the big B. He probably wants to see pictures no. of your ex-wife. I think. You look at the picture. He's gonna be like, "Is that the top of a balding man's head?" Oh no! I don't I want to see pictures of my ex-wife. Why do I want to see pictures of your ex-wife? I really I think 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 safety if you're precautions. Answering way way too soon. I would. I would like it if you just think about it, let it let it <laughs> marinate. <laughs> see, you know, think it over for a couple of days, and if you I decide don't need that time, you do, dude. okay. The yeah. way, the I way he comes with that. Close. I, and it's not about the fact that she was giving birth. I just don't want to see pictures of your ex-wife. <laughs> the way he comes close to the mic and talks so quietly about it is, it's but like you, marinating. But you, you know, definitely, definitely you might true. like it. You might like it. Yeah, no. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm That's saying. That's cool. I've seen plenty, and I have no interest in... You have a picture with the poop mixed in. I've seen mm -hmm. two of my own ex-wives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, there, there's a little bit of... little bit of... Um, but you don't say anything about it. Matter. There's some, there's some matter on there. Mm. <laughs> you just deny that it happened for life. <laughs> Rue will just be the he'll be the guy that talks to it. He's like, okay, this is the part <clears throat> to where your child comes out. And well, the saying that you also sound like a creepy drug deal. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a silent serenade of walking you through the whole process. It's like, oh, yeah, that's I, a good idea. You can have this. I just need the candy for the kids, Mr. Bones. Hey, Mr. Patrick. Mr. Patrick Mr. wants to see pictures of your ex-wife. Okay, guys, we're, we're gonna. Patty and I are gonna do a, uh, a a a meetup one of these days, so I'll bring them down. Just uh, make sure that you remind me. And then yeah. Mr. Bones Bricks asked if he if we can see a brick built version, and that is awesome. Yeah. However, comma it's not gonna go on my primary page. <laughs> um, it's gonna go on my alternate, and I'm gonna oh, write that down on the dry erase board <laughs> over there. And I'm going to add that to the list of <laughs> nifty little mocks that we're going to do one day. Okay, for those that don't know, hold on, those that don't know about the alt account that you have, are you publicizing it now on the show to let it be known that you have it and you want to give it out? Okay, it's just, it's just for those of us that know. It's, it's, it's cool. That's cool. I have if an alt account. If you're writing the idea on the chalkboard, as detailed as it might be, mm. that leads me to believe, because your wife also doesn't know about the alt account, that your wife doesn't actually go in the Lego room to see what's on the blackboard that you're leaving there. Childbirth of ex-wife. Yeah. Mock-up of childbirth from ex-wife. That would definitely draw like a conversation in this house. Well, real yeah. you know, he'll get deep voiced and quiet and say, it's, it's okay, honey. It's okay. I just want you to know. This is important. So, Jeremy and Andrea, how are you doing tonight? <laughs> We're doing good, Zany. 
<laughs> you guys are incredibly quiet. For you. Oh, we're we're enjoying the train wreck. What do you mean? Yeah, this is definitely a train wreck, and it's twelve fifty-five. We have five minutes less. Right. And um, rubric, rubric wanted to tell everyone a story about the time when he was in the Marines and he played with Lego. Go. Uh, when I was in the Marine Corps, I was in my dark ages, so I was. Playing with, playing with nay, plastic bricks, none, zero. <clears throat> That's not exciting, dude. I'm sorry. I'm just. I, I try to be honest. Like 99.9 percent of what I say is is truth. Hey. So one percent yeah. is a lie. Point hey. zero one percent, but yeah. See. <laughs> hey. 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 <laughs> this is why we're not allowed to go in public. E. <clears throat> yep, once a year. <laughs> <clears throat> this is why we don't send the link out to multiple guests. Oh, come on. Oh, it would have been so much... Oh, and better. now Haley speaks oh. up after 50 fucking minutes. Haley's just sitting in here like a creepy teeth all night. This is sort of like, what is that show? Teeth all talk. most of the time, if that makes sense. This is the most. Well, no, it's not the most track. It's definitely not the most track we've ever been. But it's pretty, <laughs> it's, it was pretty much fucking consistently off the tracks the entire time. We're just waning of the. I know those yeah, people. I, I know what the they're talking about. Here. Why this is a Lego show, but I'll keep watching. So thank you to our four viewers. <laughs> you know, we have four. That's more than we that. Do. We have four. We have four. We had a lot of cross publication. Shit this week, so we definitely got some some hype. <laughs> We're getting extra hype from everybody each and every week. You got four. We'll take this last three minutes to remind everybody I got a sale on in my store, ten percent off of everything in the store. Plus, if uh, if the noners out by the doers, uh, the doers get an extra one percent off for every one percent that is sold in my store. So that means people like Rubric and Haley. And Zany all get an additional discount on their order, and people like Port City Bricks wouldn't. Not a judgment thing. It's just a it's a give back, and don't read into it. It's a, that's all. How do you know that Port City Bricks don't doesn't have something similar as as Haley has? Because he don't. Because he hasn't mentioned it in an order, and I want people to mention it because I I respect people that have gone through stuff. By the way, Zany, I think a nice touch would be for you to start at the back of the room and just slowly, throughout the show, turn it blacklight and just, like, phase by phase, and then finally go back to where you were, just all blacklight, and just you sitting in a dark room. Okay. I'll take that into consideration. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's not going to happen. They're probably saying, nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> However, it is 12.59 p.m. On, on Saturday, May 28th. May 28th. <sighs> this Monday is um, Memorial Day, and you can use that day to exploit sales in your BrickLink store or to go and honor fallen people. Whatever you like to do. So Zany, um, do that. Zany prefers the capitalist thing because he's already placed a large order in the store. Absolutely. I he's definitely ho you're, I, you don't, you're hoping for people to buy stuff up so you get a bigger discount because it's you know. If, if I cared about that I would have waited till after. But it's 1 a.m., so why is the show still on? Because we're waiting for you to put your finger up in the air and take us off the air. I don't want to. I think that... That, that was your shtick, though. That You started that shtick for, like, your first six shows, and you got to do that shit. 
Andrea and Jeremy need to close the show with a piece of sage wisdom as they are the special guests. Right, is that what we're going to do? We're going to throw them under the bus again? Cool. Some wisdom? Sage wisdom. Sage, sage wisdom. Sage like, like wisdom. And not that burning shit. <laughs> yeah, it's only legal on two states. <laughs> I don't have any wisdom. Does anyone okay. have wisdom? Fine. Fine. Here it is. Get ready. <laughs> don't eat the yellow snow. <laughs> and the finger. And let's Watch go. out where those huskies go. <laughs> no finger? Come on. They're always waiting on it. No. We're waiting, Zany. You're really good at it. There you go, Haley's.